Hi, uh, it's me again. It's Krzysztof Waśniewski on the research scientific blog Discover Social Sciences. Uh, today I have a few thoughts which I want to explore in connection both with an environmental project I am working on, which I provisionally labeled Energy Ponds. It is supposed to combine the retention of rainwater with the generation of hydroelectricity. And it's somehow connected in my mind with the current situation with all those COVID-19 lockdowns with the COVID-19 pandemic. And the common denominator, uh, I found the common denominator in a conversation that I had yesterday uh, with a friend of mine who is involved in a small local project, in a social project in a medium-sized Polish city. Uh, the project is it's called uh, the Visible Hand and it is supposed to organize people so as to tackle all the pandemic story, uh, to, to tackle the lockdown. And that friend told me yesterday uh, a phrase which still resonates in my mind. Uh, he said, look, the government is sort of lost in all this uh, situation. They just pretend they know uh, uh, what they are doing, but they just, uh, but they are experimenting with all, 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 all that stuff. Uh, the politicians, the local politicians, they are complete crap. Uh, they just think about their own political careers and they don't want to involve themselves. But people, like simple folks in the city, they are awesome. They can do things you would never imagine they can do. And effectively, that project, the visible hand, uh, it looks like an alternative state. Those people, in less than two weeks, they organized themselves into like a parallel social structure, which works. Huh? There is business working, there is social aid working, there are private donations for hospitals working. Huh? It's, it, it, it is all working. Of course, it is bloody tough. Yesterday, when I had that conversation with my friend, he said that uh, he was active since 3 a.m. because he had to manage all those deliveries, phone calls and so on. Anyway, my idea as a researcher is that precisely based on the fact that in relatively small local communities, people can now self-organize themselves I think about creating some kind of financial instrument, some, some kind of financial scheme to sort of restart the things. Uh, in, the, in the update on, on my blog, which corresponds to this precise video, so once again, a reminder, a little bit uh, uh, of sideways talk. Um, if you want to find the body text, like let's, let, let's say the scientific update on my blog, that corresponds to this video, you click on the link below the video, the link to my blog, then on the blog you find the update with the exact same title as the title of this video. Okay, so now I, I return to the main topic of my exposition. Uh, so, people can organize themselves uh, and uh, there is like social energy, there is human energy in those communities that can be used, that can be used for good purpose. Then a little bit uh, of, uh, let's say, I, I, I don't know if it can be called uh, pessimism or just realism, but that virus, COVID-19, will stay with us for a long time. And we need to learn how to live with it. I mean, we cannot stay at home for two years. Huh? Uh, it, uh, uh, we have to live with that little beast, we have to learn how to overcome our fears and we have to learn how to recreate our social activity, our social connections, uh, in spite of the presence of the virus. Uh, another thing that I observed uh, is what investors do in the stock market. I am a small investor in the, small, in, in the stock market as, as well. And I can see an interesting thing, that the stock market displays like a, a hunger for success right now, a hunger for something to invest in. Huh? Uh, there are really those, those green pluses in the stock market all over the world, in Poland too. 
not everywhere. There are still some, some drops in the stock market indexes, but generally investors, capitalists, seem to be hungry for something to invest in. So there is like a latent human energy to exploit in all that situation. And here comes my precise idea, connecting like all those loose thoughts. Three years ago, when I was starting my blog, I devoted a few posts to the early history of the Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency. And uh, in this update, I am trying to return to this idea. I found the statistics of the first weeks and the first months of the Bitcoin. And essentially during like more than more than the first year of operations in the Bitcoin platform, it was a closed system. It was a closed system created by people who were sort of short of cash and they tried to create an alternative system. And I'm trying to exploit this. I'm trying to find a pattern in that story of the early Bitcoin, a pattern which can be possibly reproduced now in order to like restart the economy, to restart social connections, so as to just to, to, to do business uh, whilst uh, we still reasonably protect ourselves against the virus. Okay, so these are my loser thoughts. Uh, you will find more like precise writing and more precise data in that update on my blog, which corresponds with its title to the title of this video. So have a nice day in lockdown and uh, try to have fun with reading my blog.